Hello, I just want to do a quick video on what the Bible says about a mortal soul. And um, there's a channel called Cornerstone Fellowship by Alan Nolan. And this guy's obsessed with um, eternal punishment and the, the doctrine of eternal conscious torment. And he's constantly going on about it in all his videos. And he just seems obsessed with it. So let's play a little short video here of... Um, of uh, what he believes about conditional immortality. Most annihilationists believe in a doctrine called conditional immortality. In other words, they do not believe that the human soul is immortal. Therefore, for a person to have eternal life, God must give them the gift of eternal life. But unbelievers, he does not give the gift of immortality to them. So therefore, at some point after death, their soul will perish. But what we found out in the second week is the Pharisees didn't believe that. The Pharisees at the time of Jesus believed that the human soul is immortal. We also found out that Jesus believed and he taught that the human soul is immortal. Most okay, so he says that. But let's have a look at what the Bible actually says. So if we go to... Um, uh, if we go to um, Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 6, um, verse 15, which in, which in his times ye shall shew, who is the blessed and only potentate, the King of kings and Lord and lords, who only have immortality, dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto or no man have seen nor can see unto one be honour and power after lasting so according to Timothy only God has immortality which is contrary to what he is saying um, if we go to Matthew here um Here we go, if we go to Matthew chapter 16, verse 24, it says, And Jesus said unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, and let him deny himself and take up his cross, uh, for whoever shall save his life shall lose it, but whoever shall lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world? and lose his own soul or what shall a man give in exchange for his own soul so jesus actually says that a man could lose his own soul so that goes completely goes against the idea that um of the immortal soul so i don't know what bible this guy's reading i'm reading the king the king james bible which is um according to most Christians, the most accurate English translation of the Bible. Also, if we go to a few more verses um, in the Bible, so, for example, if we go to John chapter 3, verse 16, and it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have ever everlasting life. So, only the saved get everlasting life only the saved live forever and the unsaved eventually perish which means to, to destroy cease to exist um, eventually so if we go to if we have a look at the Greek as well uh, the Greek word for perish is Apol apolimi, which uh, means um, it means to kill or destroy.
who means to destroy fully, um, to perish, to lose, um, destroy, die, lose, perish. Um, if we go to uh, Romans, hang on, Romans uh, chapter f chapter six, verse twenty three. says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. This is very clear that, that only the saved get eternal life, only the, the saved live forever. Um, and if we go to uh, Matthew uh, 10, 28... It says, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. So God is actually able to destroy, to destroy the soul in hell, which completely goes against the idea of, of the immortal soul. Um, because um, God can destroy the soul. And if your soul is destroyed, then you'll cease to exist. So, so yeah, um, if you also go to, I think it's uh, John, I think it might be 653, I can't quite remember. So if we go to John chapter 6, 51, it says, Jesus says, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. So Jesus is saying, only those who eat the bread live forever. So why would Jesus say that if, everyone has an immortal soul and everyone lives forever why would he say that only the saved get everlasting life and that the unsaved perish why would he say that if everyone has an immortal soul and everyone lives forever he says it here in john six fifty. this is the bread which comes down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die so again, no, I've looked at Bible verses, um, but for soul, and there's no verse in the Bible that I've seen that, that says that man has an immortal soul, quite the opposite in fact, that only God has immortality, and that immortality is a gift from God, um, as we've seen in Romans 6.23, so... So yeah, I'm very wary of this guy, Alan Nolan. Um, he's really against the annihilationist stroke conditional immortality doctrine, even though it has so much support in the Bible. Um, and he's really pushing this eternal conscious torment doctrine. I'm not sure why, but but yeah, I'll be wary of him. Um, because... Obviously, there's a lot of verses in the Bible that go against what he's saying. So, um, I'll just finish with one last verse here. Um, if we go to Second Peter 2, 6. And uh, we'll put, put it into the... Uh, the New Living Translation just makes makes it a bit uh, clearer. Hang on a second. Well, perhaps it, well, we'll read it like that. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example um, unto those after to live ungodly. So, so there we go. Um,
and there we go. But these are natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed. Be careful of the things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own um, corruption. So, so there we go. Um, all these Bible verses saying that only the saved will get eternal life and the unsaved um, will not get eternal life. Therefore, debunking the um, the notion, the doctrine of the immortal soul, which is supported um, nowhere in the Bible. So, and we'll just finish with Second Peter two one. But there are false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be a false false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable, her damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them. And bring upon them swell, swift, swift destruction. Notice there's nothing there about eternal suffering in hell. It says swift destruction. So, um, anyway, there's lots of lots of verses that support conditional immortality and annihilationism. Only a few that appear to support um, eternal torment. So, so yeah. Um, anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any, any questions, comments, comment below. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a like. If you want more videos um, like this, then please subscribe. Um, but yeah, I'd also like to mention that the doctrine of the immortal soul comes from Greek mythology. It comes from Plato and Greek myth philosophers like that. And yeah, he said that the, ph the Pharisees believed in um immortal soul but why trust the pharisees you know they um jesus condemned the pharisees so why would you believe them uh, he called them a brood of vipers so um obviously they didn't have the right doctrine and they were probably just tr believing in the greek mythology um so so there we go i hope you enjoyed the video god bless you guys have a great day